Welcome to Whiskey's a Journey. My name is Peter Fasciano, and today is Wednesday. This is my channel segment that I call Sip It or Skip It. If you're new, I have all of my whiskeys randomized on my phone. I'm gonna spin the wheel, whatever it selects, I'm gonna pull it off the shelf, do a quick review, and then let you know if I'm gonna keep sipping on the bottle until it's gone and replace it because I like it, or once the bottle's gone, I'm gonna skip it and move on to something else. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what we're doing today. We got Old Elk Double Wheat. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think I've done Old Elk Flights on this channel before, and I think I've done a Sip It or Skip It on just their Old Elk Weeded Bourbon. So, in my mind, I think I liked this one the most, but we'll go ahead and pour it and do a quick review. Give me one second. All right, so here we go. We got the Old Elk Double Wheat. I do believe when this first came out, people were talking about this being the uh, the Weller Antique 107 killer. But, you know, we'll see. Again, my recollection of this, when I first had it, I thought it was exceptionally good. And just for my purposes, it's looking like this is... I can't see anything. 107.1 proof, and it's got a lot of information on the back. This review is not about that, but all the information for the whiskey is right here, along with my sip it or skip it tallies. It smells pretty sweet, even before I get it up to my nose. So let's get it up to my nose and see what I get. Old Elk, to me, has a very uh, distinct note. You know, when we talk about certain bourbons having specific profiles, I think all of the old elks basically smell the same. It almost has a overabundance of cherry bubblegum. It comes across that sweet. Not too proofy. Your typical wheat notes that come in, and I know I've said this before in some of my videos talking about wheat whiskeys, we have a Black Angus restaurant and they serve a a dark wheat roll with uh, oats on the top. And when you break that open and you have butter on it, that's basically what I'm getting on the nose. I do get that sweet bubblegum note first, followed by a buttered roll. Not too much spice, if any, to speak of. So let's go ahead and get it on the palate. See if I remember this tasting the way that it tastes. Yeah, right off the bat, this is very sweet. Get a good amount of barrel char, the arrival and the mid palate, it elevates in sweetness. There is a slight amount of spice, and I would pinpoint it as a cinnamon slash pepper spice, but it's not overwhelming. All of the weeded notes are there as well. On that first sip, I'm not getting much of a finish. Everything right now is basically heating up my mouth, but I don't get anything in the throat and I don't get any warming in the chest. So let me go ahead and get that second sip in and see if I can concentrate on any more nuanced notes and see if it actually does warm up the chest or gives me a little warmth in the throat. So, second sip. Yeah, it's like a cherry bubble gum, strawberry bubble gum. There is a candy sweetness. The warmth or the oak tannin is kind of settling back now to the back of the throat. Nothing is coming down through the chest. I talk a lot about barrel bitterness or barrel char on the side of the tongue. I think that is a pretty good amount that I'm feeling. Nothing over the top. I would say overall, it is a decent tasting weeded bourbon. And just like always, the price is definitely going to come into play when I think about whether this is going to be a sip or a skip. Let me get that third sip down, concentrate on how this is developing to anything from the arrival to the mid palate and the finish, and I'll give you my final thoughts. Yeah, I'm going to repeat myself. I believe Old Elk, across all of their lineup, there is a specific nose and taste profile to their lineup. As far as the overall experience, I'm not really necessarily getting much development. It stays consistent from the arrival to mid palate to the finish. Doesn't really work its way down into the chest. All of the heat from this whiskey is just sticking right here. The barrel char and the bitterness on the side is pretty good. Those wheat notes, that buttered weeded roll, 
is good. So if you like wheat whiskeys, you will definitely like this. The overall note that I get in the mouth is definitely going to be that bubblegum note, that cherry or the strawberry bubblegum. And then that's quickly followed by the wheat note and then the bitterness. And then the finish just kind of sits right here. And I would say that it's a medium finish. So based on the price of this bottle being $109, I'm about halfway through this bottle. So is this going to be a sip or a skip for me? Well, based on all of the Old Elk bourbons that I've had, this one does rank up there with the best of them. But unfortunately, I am continuing on with my skips. This bottle is going to be a skip. I don't think there is anything really wrong with it, but for the price and for the single barrel releases or the store picks that I can get from this, I think that's where I am going to concentrate my money going forward with Old Elk. I don't think I'm going to be messing around with the double wheat, the wheat whiskey, and anything else that they have. If I do see something that is a store pick and I am finished with these bottles, I think I will probably pick something up just to keep one of them on my shelf. But overall, as a brand, Old Elk is decent, but it's not necessarily my favorite profile that's out there. So unfortunately, again, this bottle will be a skip, although it is good. If you like wheat whiskeys, I think you would like this. If you're not keen on spending over $100, then I would skip this if I were you as well. And if you are curious on all of my sip it or skip it tallies, I have a document linked in the description below. Just go ahead and click on that. It's not really organized in any way from the history of the sip it and skip it series. I just have gone in order and listed everything that I've done to this point. If you're new to the channel and you like this information and you're not subscribed, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Just go ahead and click on that little subscribe button right down there. Comment down below if you are familiar with any of the old elk offerings which one do you like the most? Are you happy, not happy with the price points? What would you continue to drink from their lineup? What's the sips and skips for you? Leave some comments down below. And until the next time, wherever you're at in your journey, I hope you're enjoying it because I'm certainly enjoying mine. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.